Why, hello there, and welcome. <laughs> Ah, Laura, glad I caught you. Hi, Principal. Did you need me for something? Yeah, well, you're an artist, right? Well, actually, I'm a junior teaching artist. Right. Whatever. So, we need you to create a mural for the school's arts showcase. A mural? What kind? Just do anything. Can Can I have a little more information? I've got to run, sorry. And we need it by tomorrow. Thanks. I've always really loved visual arts and I used this experience to go out of my comfort zone and create something I never thought I would. I used ICT as an expressive medium as per the ATSL standards 2.6. Graffiti culture has become highly prevalent in today's society and after doing some research, I uncovered the true artistic medium behind the words. I started the process by sketching outlines and it was important for me as a learner to really engage my creativity and explore combinations of patterns, colours and textures that I normally wouldn't choose. I attempted multiple designs until I found one that I was really happy with and that I could do on a larger scale. And when it became time to work on my larger scale piece, I had to remind myself that there are no mistakes in creative arts, just opportunities to learn and grow. This concept really spoke to me as creativity has no mistakes and as a teacher, you are fostering your students' growth and well-being. I had never used spray paint before and had to practice holding the can correctly, finding the perfect distance and angle to begin spraying while making sure there were no drips or bubbles. This relates to the ATSL Standard 6 where I can use this knowledge to improve student learning. For the outline and the shadows, I opted to swap out the spray cans and use Posca paint markers just to get more accurate outlines. For the shadows, I had to imagine that the sun was sitting on the top right hand corner of my canvas and that everything underneath and to the left would require a shadow. This was my absolute favourite part of this artwork. Creating the squiggle, I first did a small line and then I made it thicker just to give it that visual effect. And then I just followed by adding in some highlights on the opposite side of the shadow. So wherever there wasn't a shadow is where the highlight was and this just makes the artwork pop and give it an extra bit of detail. Now that is one fantastic mural. Someone's getting a pay rise. I have always wanted to learn to play the piano and this assignment was the perfect opportunity. My learning journey began by labeling my keyboard. I researched the cutlery method, which meant that where there are two black keys are the chopsticks and three black keys are the forks. And they will tell you where the C and the F keys are. I decided to learn Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen because it's a classic and the internet told me it's good for beginners. So here we are. I was lucky enough to find this sheet music which told me which hands would be playing which keys and at which time. Serious overload alert! So I found a YouTube video that allows you to play along at the same time to learn the notes and timing. I started with the video on half speed learning the left hand keys followed by the same on the right until I became confident enough to merge them together. As I progressed, I practiced at three quarter speed until finally I was able to play at normal speed with the video audio off. Yay me! The benefits of learning to play music include long term and short term cognitive development, a higher phonemic awareness, fine motor skills and creativity. Five hours later. I recently travelled to India to take part in a Bollywood dancing workshop. We started with a quick introduction to hand and finger placement, creating a peacock with our fingers going into a lotus for the movements. In the next part, we learned some choreography that was full of energy that kept us highly engaged, which is extremely important in the classroom. As you can see, I'm not very coordinated, but having the workshop leader counting out loud helped me to stay with the beat of the music.
Throughout the course of this workshop, we explored many locomotor and non-locomotor movements that were targeted to different stages. In traditional Bollywood dance, there are often times where males and females will play separate roles. When implementing this in the classroom, it may be more beneficial and inclusive to use other characteristics to determine which students play which role. These may include the relationship between the complexity of the movements and the capabilities of the students. Learning this finale dance was not only helpful to me as a future teacher for when the time comes that I am asked to do school performances, but it was also extremely helpful in understanding the level of complexity that some movements are limited to certain stages. For example, this movement was for stage 3. We also got to be creative and freestyle our own dance moves, which was a lot of fun. In this performance, we did a lot of collaborative partner work, which is extremely beneficial for the teaching pedagogy, and it allowed us to bounce our own energy off our partners. Dressing up gave us a sense of unity and uniform and brought out the best dancers from within. Throughout this workshop, I learned about the relationships between time and movement, dynamics, space and structure of dancers. We had ample opportunity to explore these elements of dance through the development of teaching pedagogies. But more importantly, I have come to appreciate the intricacies associated with dance and have learned an appreciation for the benefits that dance can have on improving brain function and energy outsources for students. These movements were our group's collaborative arrangement, which is in line with the outcome DAS 3.2 of exploring, selecting and organising movements. The most beneficial thing I learned here was that you don't have to be a dancer to teach dance, but you do have to give it a go. Your enthusiasm and encouragement helps students to stay engaged and do their best. I hope you have enjoyed coming on my learning journey with me and can see how my experiences have helped me work towards the ATSL standards and improve my teaching practice.